Hey there, Wendy here with Jazzy Doodle Designs, and today we're going to do my November haul. And guys, I got a lot. I got some really good Black Friday sales, so let's get started. So first off is these uh, vinyl, what are they called? A, a vinyl, acrylic vinyl, I think is what it's called, paints. And this is their starter kit. It comes with six tubes that are 20, 20 milliliters. And then the, the, like a matte varnish that goes over it. The reason I got these is they are extremely matte. So let me show you. You can see that they're just not reflective at all. So I thought these would be really good for backgrounds. But what makes them so special is because colored pencil, look at the white. This is Prismacolor white. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more for you. You can see even the darker tones like the brown and these yellows just really show up well on it. And so it got me thinking, first of all, for black backgrounds, I think that this could be an amazing choice. Now, I put these on, you know, I just barely got these, so I haven't had much time to play with them. But I did do a little experimenting. And as you can see, what I did was I wrote Jazzy Doodle put a little paw on there, and then I tried to cover it with just a colored pencil. And half of this, as you can tell, the white kind of goes to about right here, but you really can't tell much of a difference between this part that was on the white and this part that's not on the white, which lend me, what I'm thinking is for covering the white lines like on a snowman or something like that where you want to cover those black line art and so I've been doing some just just playing around with it but so far I've been really pleased and I am going to do a video soon where because I'm going to sit down and actually take a picture color it and and play with these but i think that this might be a really good option because for me this covers significantly better than posca pens or even the windsor and Newton white ink um i just feel like it doesn't change the color like it's not noticeable where the difference between where there wasn't any of this white flash paint and where there was. So look for a video coming soon with this. So next up, I just got these glaze pens. Um, I've had glaze pens for a long time and over the years I've lost a few and, and whatnot. So I, these were on sale, so I grabbed them and they were like at Hobby Lobby for 40% off or something. So, um, but what these do is when you color with them, they, they still look almost wet when you're done. So it adds a really nice gloss. So those have been around for a long time. Guess I can back you guys out now. Same with these two things. This is the Full Blender by Karen Dosh. This is my favorite color pencil blender. Um, here's my here's my old one, so you can tell it's very well loved. But I just think these are fantastic, and it comes with this two pack: the Full Blender pencil and the Full Blender Bright. I like the Blender Bright. I really haven't done a whole lot with the actual Blender. Maybe I should play around with that. The other thing is Wink of Stella. This has been around for a really long time too. And I use it all the time. I have one nearby here. There. 
This one is by Nouveau, but it's basically the same thing. When you pull off the lid, there's a brush, you squeeze it, your glitter gloss comes out and it's clear with just a little bit of a shimmer. And so this is the Week of, Wink of Stella and this is the shimmer. And so this is just to basically replenish um, because I use that quite a bit because glitter gets everywhere. So anything that I can do to not get glitter everywhere. Next up is these Color Soft pencils. I have, I'm, I'm down to the point where I'm not going to buy a whole lot of, of other pencils. I may break down and save up for maybe the whole binds, but I'm on the fence because people either love, love them or hate, hate them. And quite honestly, I, I don't use my higher end pencils a lot on the channel just simply because I want everyone to to be included and so I let you guys choose which pencils to use and you almost always pick something like Prismacolor, Pris, uh, Polychromos, you know, those kind of pencils, ink tints. And so, um, so I just haven't really, I don't know. But I am nearing the end of, of my pencil buying for sure. But I have seen, this is another pencil that people either love or hate. And I personally like Prismacolor and I don't mind soft pencils. So, and these are very soft. Now I went ahead and I just finished creating my swatch sheet. I haven't swatched them um, on the permanent one but that will be coming up soon and will be available on the Kofi shop if you're interested and I may do a little review on these. I was really drawn to to me this this palette is got some earthier tones to it and they are soft pencils and I've seen some amazing work by a lady named Amanda Barlow. I don't know if y'all have seen her Check her out on Instagram because she's fantastic and she uses these pencils a lot. So, you know, I was kind of drawn to it. Next up, now these I got on Black Friday and I believe their sale is still going on. It is 40 or 50% off and they're normally something like 30 some odd dollars for 72 pencils. And so I got the pencils for 16 and the, um, the watercolor pencils for 19. And it intrigued me because I really haven't seen people talking about these. They're called Artisto. And these are the watercolored, these are the, the colored pencils. And I am going to do a video on these, but they do come in a hinge tray. All the colors are listed out, including the names and the numbers and a little swatch, which is nice. It comes with a little plastic, some foam, some information, and then the pencils. And the pencils are hexagonal hexagonal <laughs> I don't know they're a hexagon and they do have the gold gilded uh, writing on them which is kind of a pain because it's actually even scripty writing but that being said um, they're about a 3.8 millimeter uh, diameter barrel and so far I've only done a couple of little squiggles with them but they seem really nice so I will keep you posted on that. Look for a video on these because th this is something that I feel like could be a nice alternative for someone looking for a budget pencil. So we shall see. I never try and base all of my thoughts of a pencil on swatching because that's not really real life coloring. <laughs> but anyway, I couldn't pass them up for under, what, 30 $35, I got watercolor pencils and colored pencils. 
So before we move into the books, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. I provide all kinds of adult content. <laughs> not adult content. I provide none of that. You do not want adult content from me. No, I provide adult coloring content and would love to have you on my channel. So next up is The Seasons Coloring Book by Hannah Carlson. This has been around for quite a while. Um, like all of her books, it's hard down. Yeah, this is 2017, so I'm just catching up in the coloring world. So sometimes I'm <laughs> I show you stuff that's been around forever. Something that hasn't been around forever, but is all the rage right now, is The Small Victories by Johanna Basford. And it's got these cute little pictures vignettes a lot of vignettes and it's just really designed with the idea of maybe coloring every day being able to get those small wins when you complete a picture because that always feels so good when we do that but when you know they're Kirby pictures and they're two page spreads it takes a hot minute to get there so this is kind of the opposite of that it gives you that little dopamine rush right away so, and who doesn't love Joanna Basford? So these two, once again, I think have been around for quite a while. The Lulu Mayo, uh, A Million Cute Animals, A Million Sea Creatures, and A Million Dogs. Now, Lulu Mayo, I have people talk about her all the time, but I didn't have any of her books. And they had the buy two, get one free. So I went ahead and did that. So I got those. I got this Matchstick Mouse Christmas coloring book because who can resist Matchstick Mouse, right? And I wanted to have some coloring pages. I, I, didn't have a lot of color like Christmas books. I just did a video where I showed all the Christmas pages, but very few were specifically Christmas books. A lot of them were just, you know, Romantic Country or Kanoko Agusa or something where they had a few Christmas pages. So, so I'm excited about that because once again, it's kind of like the little victories. It's they're they're easy images to color, and I really enjoy them. Now on the opposite end, uh, this is An Enchanted Earth by uh, Mel Pomeni Chazipanagayu. I don't know. This, I hear people say her name just beautifully, and I apologize. But um, she has got some very intricate pages in this book. But her art is just amazing. It's um, it's very, in my opinion, it's unique. And a lot of them are in kind of a unique uh, format. They're not your typical spread throughout the entire thing or just a focal they they have like these different uh shapes so to speak so i'm looking forward to working in this book now i found this book on a used bookstore <laughs> and it is just delightful. The Dr. Seuss coloring book. And it's got some really, let me back you out just a little. Um, it's just got fun images from the books. And so I think it'll be kind of fun to color. And, you know, maybe even now that my, I, you know, I have a grandson. I can start collecting some Dr. Seuss books for inspiration and color in this. But I grew up with Dr. Seuss, and so I just had to have it. And it was like um, 
$3.99 for shipping and like a dollar for the book. So for under $5, I was definitely going to take it. Next up, I was feeling very excluded. Everybody in the world has ha has a Joanna Basford Christmas book, and I did not. So I had to run out and get this one. So I can't remember where I got this. I want to say maybe Walmart or one of those places. But just look at the gold foiling. Of course you know, because everybody owns that book. So this book, Vintage Fairies, uh, Lovely Images to Color and Keep, it's by Cirrus Books. I found this at um, Michael's and they were having a sale like 30% off books. And so I got this and a couple others, but I just thought that these were really fun images. You know, if you've seen my channel before, you know I love coloring the Disney pages because they have the inspiration on the side. But this is like a whole, I don't know, it's a very like romantic, pastel-y, um, just very unique artwork. And I thought it was beautiful. So this is Vintage Fairies Coloring Book. Now this is another book. I got this at the same time as I got the last one. Um, Camilla Derrico. I have heard and seen a lot of her art and I just never um, had any. To be honest, some of her work is in that... Uh, what is it called? Like the, not gory, but I mean like creepy, creepy cute, you know, like the third eyeball. There's something about eyeballs that freak me out like that. <laughs> so I, but look at this beautiful image. I mean, I just think that that's so adorable. Even this one, like these are fun images. But I will say some of her work, she she has another book out. I'm just not as big a fan just because I don't tend to like to color that kind of artwork. But I couldn't resist. I mean, even like this is cute. But like when you get into third eyeballs and um, I don't know, the blood and the different things, I, I get it. I'm... This is not me judging at all because there's been images that just appeal to me that might have that. But on a whole, it's just not my thing. But I really am looking forward to working in this one. Okay, I think we have this book and a couple small other um, art supplies and then we'll be done. This is Lizzie Mary Cullen Magical Christmas. And I bought this because I had bought, um, what is it called? The Magical City that Petta Hewitt always colored in. Well, this is hers, but it's for Christmas. And I'm a little intimidated to color in it. But it's, um, I did buy this at a used bookstore. And I don't know what it is, but sometimes when you get stuff from the used bookstore, they always smell a little perfumey to me. And I don't know if it's because used books often have like that underlying like moldy smell to them. I don't know. It's not a moldy smell, but like stale. You know, if you go into a bookstore, personally, I prefer that over the perfumey. So I don't know what that is but um and maybe the same person owned it as the magical city because I, I should look and see if i bought it at the same used store because i got the magical city from a used bookstore as well and it came and it smelled and i know i mentioned it in another haul and people gave me some advice on on how to get rid of it and stuff it's not awful like sitting here 
I can't smell it, but if I if I waft the pages, I can smell it. And so, <laughs> but I wonder now because it is the same author. Maybe that maybe it came from like somebody's house that just always had a lot of incense or perfume or something. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, guys. So the last thing that I found that I wanted to share with you. I was at a Hobby Lobby yesterday with my son and grandson and daughter-in-law, and we were walking around, and of course I had to go through the scrapbooking section because, just because, you gotta go through the art section, right? And um, I found these. Let me grab my other ones, just a minute. Okay, so here's what I currently own. They're bigger. They're like, um, so these are inch and an eighth, maybe across, and then this, these are replaceable. You can buy the flat ones like these. So I have a set that are the flat ones. I personally like these ones that are more dome shaped, but I had bought these when they were probably on clearance. But anyway, you know, they just, you you just replace them. I use these for distress ink or memento ink or, well, really any ink, but ink blending. But when I saw these, I was so excited because, let's open this. Oh my gosh, I hate packaging the bane of my existence. Oh. Um, these are probably a half an inch. Um, about three quarter, actually. Three quarters of an inch. But you can see they're quite a bit smaller. And what's really nice about this is you know, when you're trying to get into smaller areas. And they come, you know, there's, there's 10 in the little um, thingy here for $2.99. And if you know Hobby Lobby, you know that their paper crafts section often goes 40% off or 50% off. I can't remember which. But, you know, about every other week, every two to three weeks. I don't know what it is, but it's frequently. And so you can get these for, you know, $1.75 to, so what would it be? $1.50 and three, $1.80. So for under $2, you can get 10. And then this one was $3.79. So even if it, and it comes with four. So I thought those were a really good deal and I'm looking forward to working with them. You know, we'll see how well they work, but I, I love that they're domed and you can just really get into those smaller areas when you're doing your um, color blending on a background. Now, of course, the bigger ones are going to be better for your larger areas. So this is kind of a nice um, way to do it. Now, these, I believe, are Tim Holtz or whatever his other Ranger line. I mean, I bought these so many years ago, I don't even know. Well, let's see. These are Ranger. So I'm guessing these are Ranger 2. These are kind of a knockoff, but I really love the size. So that's it. And <laughs> I know, I know, I need help. But uh, no Japanese coloring books this time. <laughs> so I did good. I say that. I, I think I have one. Appel. Now, I know she's Korean. I have a pre-order for her coming out, and I'm excited about that. And there might be one other Japanese book that is, you know, they take a little while to get here, but none in this haul. So I appreciate you guys stopping in, and as always, happy coloring. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching another video from Jazzy Doodle Designs. If you enjoy adult coloring content, please consider subscribing. You can now find me on Instagram and Facebook as well. I welcome all comments and suggestions. 
Don't forget to like the video before you go, and until next time, take care.